inside the Goza. And uh, today we're here to present to you about Smart Dumpster as a proper waste disposal system. Now, our project um, deals with, um, focuses on both peace and freedom because it, it tackles both health issues and environmental issues. Now, you might ask yourself, why a smart dumpster? What is wrong with the ones that we have already? And why do they need to be, do they need to be smart? Um, in nations like Tanzania, you can see um, waste materials lying everywhere, especially in markets and other areas. Now, when you think about it, where do you think we are heading to? Now, a smart, a smart dumpster will help to uh, improve the, the waste management systems in our countries, such as Tanzania. Now, what are the causes of waste overflow? Um, waste overflow is caused by um, a, a number of causes. For, for example, the first one is high weight of urbanization. For countries like Tanzania, developing countries, um, many people are moving from rural areas to urban areas, which leads to high, um, high amount of waste being produced. As you can see, this is a, a picture of the Rico market, showing a very large number of people ingested in one area. Another cause of waste overflow in our dumpsters is inadequate number of dumpsters. Now, this is caused by a large number of people which exceed the number of dumpsters that are available in our cities. That causes waste overflow around those dumpster areas. As you can see, um, okay. the other cause is late collection of waste materials. This is caused by um, the sanitary, sanitary companies um, not being on time to come and collect the waste materials, causing them to spill over all around the area. As you can see, this is one of the, uh, an example of a uh, uh, dumpster that has, has overflown with waste. Uh, other reason is human activity. Uh, as you know, a large number of people causes a, a, a large number of waste, which causes waste overflow in urban areas. Impacts. Impacts of, of this um, waste overflow. One is air pollution due to uh, waste um, being decaying on uh, around those dumpster areas. Another reason is water pollution. After when the rain falls, um, the waste uh, uh, are taken by 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 storm water and taken into our water bodies, causing water pollution. Another as we can see right here. Another reason is soil pollution. Areas around a dumpster are polluted much by, by the, the waste that has overflown from the dumpster. Another, the last but not least, um, is rapid spread of infectious diseases such as cholera and malaria. Now, you come again. Okay, now we have seen the problem. So the thing is that how can we solve this problem? Do we have to just live it and just go on with our life? We have to solve it, right? That's why we came up with that idea, the smart dumpster. So a smart dumpster, what is it going to do? It's going to have like a proper waste management. Because like the one we have, we don't have a proper waste management. And then the real time trucks of waste dumpsters. That means when the waste, when the dumpsters are full, we will notify those sanitary company to come and empty those dumpsters. So, these smart dumpsters as like they prevent the overflow of waste because like there will be no more overflow of the waste. It's going to separate the plastic waste from the paper waste because those dumpsters they're gonna have to you're gonna have parts for plastic and other wastes. So. When, they, when those people want to reuse the, like uh, plastic bottles, it's going to be easy for them to take the bottle out and use them. And then prevent the spreading of diseases, example malaria and cholera. I guess we know those diseases they are mostly caused by the 
uh, the West. And then we have the implementation of the of our uh, idea or that uh, smart dumpster. It's going to have Arduino for programming, I mean Arduino for programming, and then we have GSM module. We have the uh, ultrasonic sensor, and we have the GPS. Ultrasonic sensor. This is for detecting like uh, what it's going to do. It's just going to let you know when the waste is almost full. But what it does is measure the distance. So the GSM module, what it does is going to send the notification to those sanitary companies. And then the GPS just to provide a location for where those dumpsters are. So those sanitary company can come and take or empty those dumpsters. So, so this is how the smart dumpster will mostly be, where it's going to be used anyway. The smart dumpster will be mostly used on urban areas. That's where like a lot of people are. So a lot of people produce a lot of wasters, like bus station, market area, and institutes. And then we have the implementation cost. So how much is this going to cost for us? First, we have the first prototype. First prototype, we have to do the research first. And material and design is going to cost about $200. And then we have a final product. A final product, just material and design, it's going to cost almost $250. And then we have the branding and marketing. Because as we know, we have the product already. Now we have to brand it and then sell the product. So all those activities will cost at least $1,000. So that's it. As we know, we are in a prototyping stage, but we have uh, some of challenges, uh, this is major barriers in our project. First of all, uh, my colleague, when he, he demonstrated the function of device, uh, he passed through GSM, Arduino, and the main function. The first uh, thing which we will face until now is just about uh, credit, as uh, GSM will use a SIM card, we must uh, put uh, some of voucher in this GSM. This is one among the major barriers. And the second one is about uh, power consumption. So far, we are just using a uh, nine volt, but it is not uh, longer. So we are just looking to develop some of our solar system as a power consumption. And this, uh, we come up with uh, additional research, but why we have come up with such kind of solution? As we can see, this is a Dar es Salaam region. And here are the most areas where pandemic disease occurred. Uh, this, as we can see, this uh, is Vingunguti, Manzese, and the Bagara. After that, this is our, our final development uh, model for the mobile app, and here we'll show where the last bin located if it's full, and here we'll display the specific area. So thank you. If you have any questions.